What's going on guys? So one of the hottest topics of discussion right now in regards to Black Ops 2 is of course the shotguns. Uh, the shotguns in Black Ops 2 are um, probably some of the best shotguns across the Call of Duties and I have to say I'm not a big shotgun person but in this game in particular I am using a majority of the shotguns um, on a lot of different game modes on a lot of different maps and I'm absolutely loving it. So I thought I would kind of uh, do my take on the shotguns, kind of show you guys what I can do with them and give my two cents on some good setups um, and some good attachments and uh, just give you a little bit of my insight so uh, this gameplay right here I'm using the R870 which is pretty much the standard shotgun right now it's the uh, the pump action shotgun that I would say 90% uh, of shotgun users are using um, a lot of people in black ops 2 are absolutely in love with this shotgun myself included and I mean really there's a lot of reasons to be in love with this shotgun first off um, the attachment setups if you can get a good attachment with uh, with this gun a good kind of combination of setups uh, I, I think it's almost flawless so um, the attachment that I'm using and the attachments that I would certainly recommend to all of you would be the long barrel and the red um, the uh, laser sight uh, but also the red dot sight is not a bad attachment as well that was actually the first attachment that I put on when I unlocked the R870 um, like two or three days into the game and I was really surprised at just how much the red dot sight added to this gun so uh, like I said the red dot sight the laser sight and the long barrel are probably the three that you should look into the most I think you're going to get the most bang for your buck um, when you put either of those attachments or all three of those attachments if you can um, put them on and uh, I think you'll see a definite increase in accuracy a little bit of an increase in range the shotguns in this game they don't have the ridiculously long range like they did in some of the other Call of Duties um, th there's really just a certain window uh, a certain little bubble of, of you know uh, of, of ability with these shotguns that it really you can't go out of it so I mean you're going to see a couple situations in this game in particular where um, I'm going to basically reach that maximum um, the maximum length, the maximum distance of, of what the shotgun can do and you'll kind of see that there is a consistent bubble. There's never really going to be those times where you just randomly hit that long shot with the shotgun. I think for the most part uh, the attachments are pretty much um, going to be consistent. The shotgun itself is going to be consistent and there's definitely going to be a consistent range with how these shotguns work. But if you can figure out what that range is and how it works with your playing style and the best way to utilize the attachments and the map setup and all that stuff, I think the shotguns are, are a great advantage. And I also think that um, in certain situations, the shotguns are going to outperform almost every other gun in the game. This is a good example, by the way, at just the window. Um, I shot that guy right in the nutsack, which is probably not a good idea. I, I should have aimed for the head or the chest. But um, basically, my first shot was essentially the window, uh, the window of opportunity with the shotguns, the distance that uh, the shotguns can be fired. Um, beyond that, it's going to be a, a hit marker or, or a complete miss, um, I would say, a majority of the time, if not every time. So just keep that in mind. Um, but as I was saying, I think the shotguns really do outperform a lot of the guns in this game. The assault rifles up close are pretty much worthless, uh, especially the LMGs in this game. They're pretty much worthless up close. Those two um, gun classes, you're going to beat um, those two gun classes with the shotgun every single time. Not even going to be a question for medium to close range. You're just going to outperform them, as simple as that. The submachine guns guns in this game, I would say almost, I would say more than half the time you're going to outperform them with the shotgun. It is tough though because if a person has the laser sight and they're um, coming up pretty close to you and they're going to spray right to your head, you may not get the shot out in time. So that would kind of be the only um, kind of situation where you may get outplayed. And then of course, obviously, the other kind of one shot, one kill weapon, the sniper rifle. If someone's really good up close to the sniper rifle or they no scope you, get a lucky shot. Um, there's a good chance you're going to get outplayed with that as well but um, I, I would have to say the the submachine guns I mean uh, I'm sorry yeah the submachine guns you're gonna um, outplay them uh, some of the time the assault rifles and the LMGs you're going to outplay them I would say almost every single time up close um, and, and a majority of the time medium range um, so you're gonna have a very good opportunity of outplaying a majority of the opponents on the other team because not everyone obviously is gonna have a sniper rifle or a submachine gun there are gonna be people with the assault rifles um, with the LMGs and with a whole bunch of other stuff so uh, the shotguns in this game definitely give you an advantage and I can see why a lot of people are using it I remember um, back when this game first came out um, I think two or three days into this game um, I remember the first couple people who ended up getting the shotguns they unlocked the R870 
70 pretty quickly and I just remember running into rooms going around corners and just getting absolutely annihilated like I didn't even know um, what hit me what was coming it was really really bad because uh, I hadn't tested out any of the shotguns I really didn't realize just how good they were and the second I got killed by the first few shotguns in this game, I was just really, really hungry to try them out. I was just really desperate to just get any shotgun and try them out and see which one was the best. And I think it can be pretty much um, universally agreed upon that the R870 is pretty much the, the top the top shotgun in this game. It's essentially the Spaz-12 from Modern Warfare 2, but it definitely doesn't have the range. Um, it has the consistency, I think, of, of a good shotgun, um, like I said. So uh, it's a good shotgun all the way around and in certain game modes and certain game types especially the smaller maps like hijack like this one it really is almost unmatched um and you can be running around the map really really well um i do switch to my secondary a couple times throughout this game the secondaries in black ops 2 by the way are really really good for some reason i always seem to get killed by some asshole running around with a, a, a pistol so I, I don't know why i don't know why so many people are using the secondaries as their primaries or using the secondaries so much they really are good i almost kind of wish they would um, kind of nerf them down a little bit because there are certain situations where a pistol should not outperform like a submachine gun or, or an LMG or an assault rifle or anything like that. It's a little bit strange sometimes just how good the, the uh, secondaries are, but that's a topic for, for a whole nother day. Um, anyway, finishing up with the shotguns, I really don't have much else to say. Um, they are some of the best guns in the game, and I think a lot of people have figured it out by now. You can get some great clips, some great gameplays with the shotgun. This one right here, um, this gameplay wasn't a particularly big KD gameplay or uh, big kills or anything like that when you see the end um, at uh, the the end scoreboard and you see how big of a score I got you'll kind of see why I put this game up um, I was basically the only person throughout this game that was capturing dog tags and I don't want to toot my own horn but we basically won because I played the objective and no one else did and that's always kind of frustrating when you play um, you know any Call of Duty if you're the only person going for the objective it is incredibly hard to win especially if your team is not only not doing anything but almost hurting you it's just really really frustrating kill confirmed is one of those game modes where you almost can be a one-man army you really can uh, kind of run over the enemy team all by yourself you can capture every single dog tag um, and try to die as little as possible um, you, you can have a pretty good game and I think I got uh, I don't want to spoil it you guys will see in just a minute but I got quite a few confirms and in black ops 2 playing the objectives everything I got so many points and that's basically how uh, I I'm ranking up uh, pretty fast. Oh, by the way, just a little quick note. Um, the crossbows in Black Ops 2 really are great. A little bit too great. They're accurate as fuck, which is kind of good and kind of bad. It's good for the person shooting it, obviously, but for the person trying to avoid it, there's no avoiding the crossbows. Um, and uh, the, the only thing about the crossbows is if you don't hit the person dead on, you're basically going to get uh, an explosive hit marker almost every time, which kind of sucks, but um, it kind of makes it up with the accuracy. Uh, but anyway, this gameplay is coming to a close. As always, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hit the thumbs up button if you guys did. Also, hit that subscribe button for future Black Ops 2 videos, man. Eight minutes of talking really does kill me. That's why I cut this gameplay up so much. It was like ten minutes and change, and I cut it down a little bit because I can't talk that much. But as always, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys later.